Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet commended His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's inauguration of Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance's new headquarters located in Bahrain Bay. The cabinet highlighted the role played by the kingdom's educational and training institutions, including the BIBF, in creating educational opportunities for Bahraini citizens within the financial services sector and supporting economic development in accordance with the priorities of the Economic Recovery Plan and the Cabinet also noted BIBF's numerous international partnerships, particularly with the London Institute of Banking and Finance, with whom three agreements have been signed. These agreements will contribute to the development of local and international banking and finance professionals. The Cabinet received an update on the measures taken by the relevant authorities in response to the recent impact of rainwater on certain areas within the Kingdom. The Cabinet directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Plan planning to continue to monitor residential neighborhoods and roads affected by rainfall and to develop appropriate solutions. The cabinet highlighted the government's monitoring of global COVID-19 studies and its variants to inform decision making on appropriate and necessary precautionary health measures. The cabinet reiterated the importance of being vaccinated and receiving a booster shot to strengthen community immunity as well as the importance of adhering to all precautionary measures in order to maintain public health. The cabinet reviewed a report on the national COVID-19 response on the progress of the Kingdom's national vaccination campaign. The report revealed that 94% of the eligible population have received their first and second vaccination doses and that 83% of the eligible population has received a booster shot. This has had an impact on the decrease of the number of active COVID-19 cases needing hospitalization or intensive care. The Cabinet agreed to the formation of a committee headed by the Minister of Interior and including the relevant authorities to review and develop the procedures and regulation for importing publications used by government agencies. The Cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft law on the executive regulations for the amended GCC Common Law on anti-dumping, countervailing measures and safeguards measures. The memorandum aims to protect local industry from harmful practices and in international trade conducted by non-GCC member states. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the accession of government agencies to global climate change organizations. The move supports the Kingdom's efforts to reach carbon neutrality by 2060 and grow its international contribution to innovation in reducing carbon emissions and investing in the efficient use of clean energy. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments on the electronic transformation of the services provided by the Ministry. The move aims to further enhance the efficiency of services provided, allowing for 24-hour service without the need for in-person attendance at the Ministry buildings. The Cabinet then took note of a number of ministerial reports regarding a visit to China, participation in the Future Minerals Summit and the fourth edition of the World Youth Forum. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of Bahrain Paralympic Committee, Sheikh Mohammed bin Adaij Al Khalifa, and Abdul Rahman Al Rawai'i and Ali Al Ghazal, who innovated a bicycle for people with disabilities. His Highness Sheikh Khaled expressed pride in Bahraini youth's high capabilities and poten potentialities that enabled them to create and innovate in various fields, affirming that youth's role in building and developing communities. His Highness welcomed the guests, hailing the two youths' remarkable innovation, which serves a large number of people with disabilities and will support their sports. He asserted that the innovation reflects Bahraini youth initiatives that support various categories of society, affirming his keenness on supporting such initiatives, wishing them further success. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Adaij expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khaled for his keenness on supporting creative youth energies, which reflects the interest in the Bahraini youth and his keenness on providing an ideal environment for them to create and innovate, especially in the sports field. For their part, Abdul Rahman Rawai and Ali Al Ghazal expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Khaled, affirming that His Highness's reception of them is an incentive to continue making initiatives and innovations.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, affirmed that the ministry was able to integrate students with special needs who can learn in a normal school environment while providing all support devices. The minister added that the pandemic did not prevent the ministry from continuing to provide its services to students with special needs as it prepared digital lessons for those with special needs in a manner that considers their abilities and health conditions. He pointed out that the last academic year, these lessons reached 28,000 lessons. Dr. Naimi noted that the lessons are provided by the ministry's YouTube channel and that parents can communicate with the schools via any social media platform. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam Khalaf, paid an inspection visit to Salman City. He stated that Salman City is considered one of the most important strategic projects in the Kingdom of Bahrain as it contains a large number of housing units, which were built according to the highest standards, noting that it overlooks vast gardens and green spaces. He added that the city contains paths designated for walking and cycling and is also characterized by easy access to its multiple facilities. The Minister stated that the city is on the verge of a number of service projects, including the construction of a public park with an area of more than 27,000 square meters. In an implementation of the Royal Directors of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units, the Ministry of Housing distributed 2,000 more units to citizens in East Sitra and East Head Towns. The Ministry continued to deliver the units keys for applicants according to the prepared list and the delivery process was carried out with the necessary precautionary measures. It said that these projects are distinguished by their locations and facilities and affirm keenness on providing housing units and the best services to citizens to meet their aspirations. The Ministry of Health conducted inspection visits to restaurants and cafes in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority within the framework of intensifying inspection visits which aim to ensure that facilities adhere to health requirements. The Health Minister announced that five of the restaurants and cafes have violated the health protocols adopted by to curb the spread of the coronavirus pandemic and legal measures were taken accordingly. The Information and E-Government Authority Chief Executive Mohammed Al-Qaid announced that Bahrain's government has successfully adopted and implemented its cloud-first policy. He highlighted a string of government achievements during 2021, including the migration of more than 70% of the operations and systems of 72 government entities to the cloud and noted that the work is ongoing on the cloud transformation of the General Sports Authority and several hospitals and health centers. Al-Qaid said that the cloud-first policy aims to encourage and the deployment of advanced technologies and systems in the IT sector to enhance the public's quality of life by providing highly efficient services. He added that Bahrain will continue implementing this policy on a wider scale to further improve government processes. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is constantly working to develop its services through plans and initiatives aimed at attracting more investments. More on this report. In order to enhance the gains and achievements of the country in all fields, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is keen to continuously develop services within the government's direction to develop electronic transactions and services. These facilities made it possible to effectively reach local and foreign investors and to enter them in attractive and modern ways by presenting qualitative and attractive current and future plans. In order to maintain a healthy commercial and investment atmosphere, the percentage of commercial turnout is measured periodically and plans are activated in a renewed manner to include all those interested in their different orientations. A strategic partnership pursued by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism with various sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain enabled it to provide and develop services to confirm the Ministry's constant keenness on cooperation and joint action for the sake of the Kingdom's advancement.